Hello everyone, welcome to this session on what is machine learning. Today in this session, we'll be going through various examples so as to understand machine learning better. So let's get started. So the first thing that you should understand about machine learning is it is the process of providing ample data to a particular machine so that it can predict the new kind of data when it comes in. For example, if you provide ample images of a dog to a machine and then give a new image to the machine which could be of any animal, it will be able to tell you whether that's a dog or not, right? So this is just one example and this is just the working of how machine learning works in a nutshell, right? But we'll be giving you more examples as we move along in this session. But before we begin with the session guys, if you have any questions during the session, please comment it down in the comment section and if you haven't already subscribed to the IntelliPath channel, please click on the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any notifications from us. So now, without wasting any time, let's get started with the session. So have you ever shopped online? Let's say you're searching for a mobile phone on Amazon. Now you would have noticed that the site recommends you mobile phones which are in the same price range or by the same brand. Now if you leave the site without purchasing the product, then you'd be getting ads recommending you to purchase the same product on almost all the websites that you visit. So how is this really happening? Well, all of this is possible because of machine learning. Now there are thousands of real life applications of machine learning which you use on a daily basis, either knowingly or unknowingly. Confused? Well, let's go through some of the examples. So all of you would have a Gmail account. Now, how do you think Gmail is able to segregate your emails into different folders such as primary, promotions, social, spam and so on? Or let's say you are sitting on your couch and happily browsing Netflix. So you get a list of movie recommendations which are very similar to your past watch history. So have you ever wondered how is this possible? Does the machine know you personally to suggest movies similar to your interest? And even while driving, Google Maps suggests you which route has more traffic, which route would be faster for you and how long will it take to reach the destination if you continue on that route. So how do you think Google Maps does this? Well, all of these are just applications of machine learning. Well, all of which arises over here is, what exactly is machine learning? So it's not just about robots. Machine learning is a sub-branch of artificial intelligence which focuses mainly on machines learning from their experience. Let me explain this to you with an analogy. So consider a newly born child who initially knows nothing. So he goes to school to learn. Now, the teacher starts with the alphabets. The teacher shows picture of letter A to the child and tells him it's A. He repeats the process again and again till the student learns all the alphabets. So here the student is being trained. Once the training is complete, teacher conducts a test to verify how well the student has learned. Now, we'll use the same analogy to a machine. So initially we have a machine which knows absolutely nothing. So we start training the machine in a similar way. So the machine has no idea about what is A or what is B. So we start by showing our machine various pictures of the letter A and teaching it that it's A. Once the training is complete, we test the machine by showing it the letter A of different fonts and styles. And if the machine is able to identify the letters accurately, then it means that the machine was trained well. If not, then in order to increase the efficiency, we have to train a machine with more images of A of different fonts and styles and again test it and check its accuracy. So the more training we give, the more accurate our machine would become. So this is the concept of machine learning. Now machine learning can be broadly classified into three categories. So we have supervised learning, unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning. So when it comes to supervised learning, we teach the machine using data which is labeled. Let's say we have a basket of fruits and each fruit is tagged with a label. Now the machine is trained on this label data. So once the training is done, it is given test data or new data to determine how well the training has been done. Now let's take another case where the training data doesn't have any labels associated with it. Here the machine understands the underlying structure of the data to identify similar patterns. And the data which is similar in nature is grouped together. So here the machine understands that all the apples are similar in nature and thus they are grouped together. Same is the case with bananas and mangoes. So this type of machine learning is known as unsupervised learning. And finally we have reinforcement learning 
where the algorithm learns through a system of rewards and punishment. Let's say if we feed the machine the image of apple and it labels it as an apple, then it will be rewarded. But on the other hand, if it labels the apple as pineapple, then it will be given negative points. So the greed of getting more and more reward points lets the machine make thousands of decisions and thus is how the machine is trained. 